There used to be a lot of houses along here. From that tamarisk tree there. Just the walk. Used to go right along there. This way here. All, all the old people used to live along here, along around here. Going right along there. Uh, now, um, one old fellow over there named Peter, Peter Jackson used to live over there with all his dogs. Herbert's mother was living here somewhere. My mum used to have a house here somewhere. Used to be nice them days around here, but everything. Um, Changed now. This tamarisk tree here been here before I was born, I think. I used to play under here when I was a baby, about um, ten year old, and I still remember it. It used to be a hoil, right? What? Hoil, uh, hoil, hoil where they used to have TV. When the TV, black and white TV, as it first came out, they put in a hoil there and used to pay two shillings to go in to watch it. Some of them never used to have two shillings, trying to sneak their way in. Yeah, they used to book it up on pension days to get in there. My mother used to live over there, over there, and my, all the rest of my family used to live there, underneath the bottle of Tamas tree. I, I was born here on this place here, in the old reserve. I was born here, down here in a Tamas tree, pepper tree they call it. And I've been taken away by mission we welfare took me away to the mission when I was that eye. That big And and I remember I used to come out weekends with my parents. And used to be a lot of people used to be here. Say about nearly 500 people used to live here. Most of the people used to live at work on the station. They used to come in from the stations, and this is their home here. They used to be their home here, coming here. mustering and all that. They used to do all that, and just come back here. And this is where they used to have their little break to they find another job. And um, there's a lot of people in this place. There used to be an old tent over there, old old huts. There used to be a lot of old people used to live in there. Um, but I was only a child in them days. I still remember the older people. And um, things look different here now. Why are there all these trees up there? Still can't work it out where everything it was before. But I remember a bit, but not much. Well, my mother was willing to work everywhere, and then apparently I ended up in a mission here, see, like Tom and all, the great majority of us, all the Aboriginal kids that had been out in the station everywhere, see, that the welfare had gone round us up then to be in this mission. Grew up in the mission, Church of Christ Mission, then I was about. Fifteen, then I went out working on the station. Then I, then I keep coming. Or I'll come back home, back to the old reserve here, and then that's where my parents was here living here. That's where I used to come and stop with them. Then, see, there was a fence line. There was a boundary line used to be. That's as far as the taxis used to come. Then they're not allowed to enter into the reserve itself. If anybody wanted a taxi, well, they got to go there and get it. And then after it, it slightly changed them since the free rights started to come in, 
that came the Aboriginals all together, you know, like for. And taxi used to drive right mm. to right to our doorstep, mm. and and uh, they used to bring us come right home, and we used to take our stores home. Now they still don't come in our places at the old village at night, new village. So that's it. Then, as we said, you know, and then the, when that flood came, 1980 flood, that's when everybody shifted from, you know, was, um, under quarantine then, and everybody had to go over there and live in Tent City, then back to the village. From there, then, and all these houses were destroyed then. Destroyed by the flood? No, uh, they pulled it down then. They pulled all the houses down, I think they shied, and that or we overdone it. Yeah, because the floods. Mm, because because the flood. That's why they pulled it down there. It wasn't floody one year, I don't know what year that was. 1980? Was this one built up? Look at the yeah, I don't know what year they, this place has been, this here been built up, the levee, so this must have been straight after they start building it when they start moving people to Tent City and they started building houses over in Mangala Village. Well, then, then. Hello, my name's Lorraine. Lols Dodd. Um, I'd just like to uh, just, just show you some of the pictures on the, on the board here from the old reserve. And on the other photo on this side, you've got the flood damage um, from the old reserve way back in um, 1980. It just, just shows you all the damage from the flood um, at the old reserve. And I don't know, in 1980 there were floods before that, but this is one of the ones that I think um, made up the mind that um, of the people that the reserve had to be moved, and it, it gets moves from here to a to another location. I deserve it. Um, I just want to show you after we left from the old reserve, we went to Ten City. We stayed there then for about two and a half years, I think. I'm not too sure, but anyway, from '80 to '81, I think we since we moved here. But as far as as far as it goes, this is part of where we used to live. Ten cities, that's where they built Ten City for us, the government did. And then, because um, the old reserve was under quarantine then, a doctor board, he was a doctor then for the Aboriginal thing. He didn't want anybody to shift back there. And then they built Ten City for us then. And that's it there. We can see part of the laundry and everything in the tents where everybody used to live. And also, the weather been cooking and everything, that's where they cook outside and all that. Little time when they were tired to build this then, um, longer the village. I can remember uh, coming down, I, not living here all the time as a permanent resident, but I've always come down on holidays and I used to always take part in going camping out and uh, or any of the holiday activities or the kids' activities. But the photos here just show you how um, everyone was all alive and well and well and um, up and running into you know in the community new community so everyone's alive and their spirit all full on yeah you know them days we couldn't even go down to town unless we have our parents with us you know uh, the police would uh, uh, pick us up for um, vacancy with no money with no money you know yeah. when we was kids we used to get a flogging but now the, these days the, Kids. You're a kid, you got a jail. You're a kid now, you know. You flog your own kid, you got a jail for that, or you got a court. And another thing too, now these now these kids they got a lot lucky, you know, they're a lot luckier than what we were. Now they got everything there knocking on their front door, but only thing they got to use that opportunity, see?